know, he ignores, uh, you know, a lot of the pushback about his, his role in the Iraq war and, uh, you know, some of the things that they like to hammer on him about. Um, and that's from the left and the right. And I say to those people, um, you all were all pissed off after nine 11, you was looking for some scalps and we got you some scalps, a bunch of damn scalps. Okay. Um, and I personally got quite a few of them myself. And I can tell you that, you know, once those scalps were, were taken, um, and once we delivered, you know, some, some pretty, you know, heavy defeats on these guys, uh, that's when you started to see people, oh, I don't know, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of second guessing this. Um, you know, look, armchair politicians, armchair soldiers and armchair quarterbacks never win a damn thing. They never win a thing, but they sure stir up a lot of trouble. Um, so I think that, um, you know, my defense of, uh, George W. Bush, um, comes from me having a more of an in-depth personal knowledge of not only the man, but some of the things that he was trying to tell the people about some of the capabilities that were laying around all over in Iraq. Um, and if we let that fall into hand, the hands of Al Qaeda, um, or given to them as was the plan by, uh, none other than Saddam Hussein, then, you know, this would have changed the whole thing. So imagine couple of chemical, uh, you know, nerve gas, uh, artillery shells, uh, you know, uh, blown up in the middle of New York city. Imagine that. Okay. We saw some of that. We saw some gases released in the, in the subways before, but let's just talk about something really serious, m you know, military grade that could kill a lot of people. Well, that could have very well happened. Um, and it could happen right now. Um, you know, I think that we've let our guard down in the last two years, especially. We've probably got about eight, eight million people in this country and probably about six million of them. We don't know who the hell they are, or where they come from. And, uh, and that's a scary thing. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, alarms out there and red flags. Um, and we're about ready to get an, an another nine 11. Um, that's my big concern that we have as far as my resume.